My name is Deborah Molay. I'm the Director of Regenerative Medicine uh, here at the clinic. And my background really has been in the health and wellness industry for about the last 20 years. Uh, regenerative space is really, really my element and my passion. I really love to see patients not only stay away from things like drugs and surgery, but also gain their quality of life back. It's such an important thing that we take for granted every single day. So that's where my passion is and, and I'm honored and I'm privileged that I'm able to have a career that I get to do that in. Yeah, I've been in the space since 2014. I've seen conditions such as back pain, degenerative disc disease, neuropathy, uh, hip pain, osteoarthritis, bone on bone knees, uh, rotator cuff tears, uh, neck pain, injuries and so forth. I've seen patients who suffer with COPD and, and emphysema and high blood pressure and so forth. So since 2014, I've probably seen over 500 cases. On average, I typically say give it at least five weeks, right? Uh, and again, that's only on average. Everyone is different in responding to healing. Uh, we're not all cookie cutter patients, so you have to understand healing can be a different response for everybody. So I've had some patients who've felt a difference in one day, and then I've had patients who felt a difference in about four or five weeks. So when I say at least give it that average of five weeks, patients go, you know, I've been suffering with this for 25 years. I think I can give it five weeks. That's nothing. I follow them personally for the next 12 months on this regenerative journey. So when we're coming in every three months and looking at them and, and charting their symptoms and looking at the range of motion improvements and mobility improvements, we're seeing patients say, you know, I, I'm good. I'm able to get back and do things that I wasn't able to do before I had this done. And if you think about it, that new tissue that's regenerating their condition for the rest of their life, you're talking about they could be healed because unless they injure, re-injure, re-traumatize that area, there should be no need to repeat this process. Nine times out of 10 when a patient sits down with me and says, I've been told I'm bone on bone, you know, there's probably nothing you can do for me, right? I, I, I waited too long. It's typically not the case. When we look at their x-ray, it's not bone smashing over bone. It's typically very degenerative space, but there's still tissue there. So it's really important that we show our patients their x-ray in real time and say, look, at, there is tissue in that space. And as long as there's something there that the stem cells can latch onto and replicate, then there's no reason why you shouldn't benefit from this procedure. Post-procedure with the stem cells, we always say use pain as your guidance, right? And I get that question all the time is, so how long do I need to be off of work? And I go, off of work? We don't want you off of work. We want you going back to work feeling better. So uh, there is no real restrictions in terms of post-procedure. We do ask that you discontinue any NSAIDs. We don't want things like ibuprofen or Motrin or Aleve to come in and interfere with the growth factors that are occurring in that first four weeks. Uh, we also suggest weight loading exercises. So if you had your knees done and you're in the gym and you're doing squats or you're doing lunges, I would say wait about three or four weeks before you start putting weights on that bar or maybe even don't use weights in those type of exercise situations. Before the procedure, about 24 hours before the procedure, you're going to want to stay clear of NSAIDs. Now, if a patient wants the procedure done that day that they come in and they just so happen to take an leave that morning, we'll look and see you know, what their history of usage has been. Um, we certainly, um, from an NSAID standpoint, don't want any interference with that stem cell healing that's going to occur.
The one exclusion is going to be a patient who comes in with active cancer. A patient who's already got an immune system that's being suppressed, we don't want to invite something with growth factors and, and stem cell therapy. Uh, so active cancer is something that's asked during your exam and when we go through your health history. Pregnancy would be another exclusion. Yeah, absolutely. So when regenerative medicine came on board, boy was that a game changer. And it was a refreshing thing to see, an exciting thing to see, because you see evidence-based results every single day. When we bring up an x-ray post stem cell, there's no doubt when we're measuring new space that someone's responding to that type of healing. When they go in through the IV, 60% of those cells are gonna find their way to your lungs and your heart and your major organ and glands. Stem cells are only attracted to what's damaged and what's need of repair. So there's no waste. When the stem cell goes in systemically and it goes through the circulatory system, it's gonna recognize if there's liver failure, if there's kidney issues, um, if it's, for instance, um, lungs with COPD. Now, if we need to cross the blood-brain barrier, to treat patients with MS or Alzheimer's disease, then there's other methods in which we can deliver those IV stem cells and other things we can use like mannitol to also help cross that blood-brain barrier. Pretty good, we've treated MS, we've treated Alzheimer's and dementia. It's not quite one and done like it is with the orthopedic or the nerve. It can take anywhere from two to four times of getting those stem cells into the system. But I've seen patients who have gained their memory back in a pretty short period of time. Uh, and again, it's all gonna be measured when you're talking about systemic on labs and also working with their specialty physicians in uh, looking at their outcomes and their improvements. Yeah, so uh, about the time I turned 40, I started noticing my knees were on fire. They would pop and crack. I, I would go to bend down and I couldn't get back up. So I thought as soon as regenerative medicine was in my life, why don't I become a patient of that as well? Within two weeks, I noticed I don't have any more swelling. I don't have any more popping or cracking and I don't have any more pain. And as the weeks went on, it just got better and better and better.